I've learned. Something wrong with these guys. We can't refute the fact that something has happened. We can't refute the fact that there is evidence. But it can't be them. By who or by what name? <laughs> who did it? Or whose name did it? I declare 2019 shall be the year of testimonies. Amen. Amen. So Peter said, I want everybody to know that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you kill. So you kill him. You want to know who? The same person you kill. You want to know who? The same one God raised from the dead. By him, this man is standing in good condition. He's whole. Stone the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Then he ends it, and this is where I end. Neither is there salvation in any other. Let's bring the books to account. No real freedom can be found in any other name. Because there's only one name under heaven, given among men, whereby we must be saved. And that is the name of Jesus. Somebody call his name. Wave your hands. Come on, call that name again. The name that brings salvation. The name that brings healing. The name that brings deliverance. The name that gives a breakthrough. The name which is above every other name. The name of Jesus. I'm going to do real quick. Number one, there are persons here tonight that you might have heard about the name, but you don't have a relationship with the person. The apostle said, There's only one name that is legitimate in earth to bring salvation, and it is none of those. Names like Buddha. It's not found in any of these. The name tonight is Jesus. I want to pray with some folks tonight. If you are not yet a Christian, you heard the message and you realize that my God I need to know that Jesus you preached about. I am not yet saved. But will you pray for me, preacher? I'm going to ask you to come. You're not a Christian. Just come real quick. And let me pray with you right now. Every person here that's not a Christian. Just come quickly. Come quickly. Let me pray with you. It's between you and God. I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on it. Two things I'm going to do. That's the first one. Every person that's not a Christian, just come real quick. One, two, three. Just come real quick. Come real quick. Just stand right there. The next person to stand beside her. Beautiful. Just stand beside her. Just stand beside her. Jesus. Jesus. Any more persons? I've heard about this Jesus before. I know people that have a relationship with him. But I don't have one with him. That's the set of persons I need to come real quick. Are there any more persons here tonight? You're not yet in a relationship with Jesus. Bible said that the stone the builders rejected that is now become the stone that the building needs in order to remove.
remain in its fixed position. Does not mean you any good. 
It can't, God will never say, take your time to come to me. No. All through the scriptures, if you look at it carefully, be when I stand at the door now, if you open it, come in. It's always immediate. Now is the day of salvation. Now is the time. Now is the acceptance. It's always in the night. I'm coming back to you, but keep thinking. Your name is? Oh, that's an easy one. Tomorrow. So tomorrow, what do you want to do with this Jesus? You've heard us preach about him. What do you want to do with him? You want to have a permanent relationship. She hands to her. Bless you. And she stands proudly and tall. What's your name, mommy? Oh, that's another easy one. So the easy names are on the right. So, Glory, what do you want to do? You want a relationship with it. Alright. So here's what here's the deal. I'm gonna ask all of you to do these lovely ladies. And they're gonna talk to you some more. They're gonna get your details because we want to be in contact with you. We want to be your support group. We want to be a shoulder that you can leave and that you can cry on. Alright? So could you go with them? And they'll talk to you. Come on, somebody, put your hands together and just love God. Well, One final thing we're gonna do. And you don't need to come to the altar for this. But if like the man, you have felt stuck. And feeling stuck is not something, it's something that, that, that you have had to deal with for a while. It's not something recent. It's, you just get tired of being in a fixed position. But you believe this word tonight. And you believe that tonight is your night of change. I'm going to ask you to stand where you are in your seat. You want to trust what you heard tonight. You want to trust that word. So your standing is an act of faith. To say, God, I believe you. I believe you. Notice what the man did. He got up, he left. He walked. And he praised God. And we're believing that God will hand deliver miracles to you. Just hold hands to anybody who is standing near to you. Just hold hands with them. As a sign of solidarity. We're coming out together. We're going to have testimonies together. They're going to have to shorten the testimony services because everybody has so much to say. We want to believe God. Say after me. Tonight God. We believe. That you will change our condition. We are trusting in the name of Jesus. And we believe that that name has authority, has power, and it still works. So tonight, as we stand in faith, we are believing for many testimonies to come our way. And so we seal it tonight with the name of Jesus. And we declare it done in Jesus' name. All right, just congratulate your neighbor on your testimony. Amen, amen. Amen. All right. Can we just listen to this song one more time?